From runway to realway, it's time to update your look for spring. But if watching the models strut down the runway has you overwhelmed, don't worry. We brought in stylist Christina Pierce to show us how to work all the latest trends into our own wardrobes. Good morning. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, thank you. All right. The first trend that we want to look into is just so classic: white blouse. Yes. Every woman has one. Definitely. But. How do you really kind of kind of spice it up, kind of modernize it? Definitely, and one trend that we're seeing this season is a modern take on the white blouse, and that's kind of a white blouse with a little more fashion-forward edge. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, this shirt here from Kalula Lilibel has kind of a little structured shoulder and some detailing oh, yeah, at the like sleeve, that. little armband detail. And what's great about kind of picking up a new white shirt as opposed to the traditional Oxford is you can really use this three ways. Okay. You can wear this under a blazer for the traditional office setting. Mm -hmm. And you, you have a blazer here yep. too, right? Yep. We've got a little like tweed inspired blazer here okay. from Jahari. So you can kind of just wear that under there for that Pair traditional that. office setting. We also have a little, you know, the traditional bandage skirt from BCBG. So you mm -hmm. can, you know, just pop that on for a little summer evening nice. out. Nice. And you've got a nighttime outfit as well as even on the weekend with a pair of jeans. Great. So as you can see, you so know, versatile. Justifies the purchase. Absolutely. And another trend that you see on the runway is, of course, the high-waisted pant. We're seeing this everywhere. Very retro, and they look great on the models. But what we're trying to avoid is this. Jessica Simpson, of course, got the high waist wrong, and she's gorgeous. So many women are scared off because they see her, yes. and they, you know, she kind of got criticized for this picture. So how do we get it right? I mean, one thing that really went wrong with the Jessica Simpson mishap is that she paired, you know, a really tight pair of high-waisted pants with a really wide belt, and then on top of that, also paired it with a really tight cam, mm -hmm. you know, little tank top. So there was just opportunities for things to just bulge in places that they shouldn't. Yeah. So this is a great example from Joe's jeans of a high-waisted, you know, wide leg pant, mm -hmm. and this, you know, we always want to pair with a skinny belt as opposed to a really thick belt. Right. So this is kind of, you know, Not it's that big chunky one that she has. Exactly. It's all about proportions here. Okay. So using a belt like this, mm -hmm. and when putting something on top, we're always going to want to remember to balance out the proportions again. So even taking something like that white blouse that we just talked about and kind of getting that volume on the top, Right. That's really going to be key Even there. things mm -hmm. out throughout. <laughs> and we're really seeing that volume on the runway in mm -hmm. that trend. So the volume on top. And another trend we're seeing is the whole military, safari inspired. How do we get this look right? So there's a few ways. Basically, what we're seeing with military is it's all about the khaki color, mm -hmm. the buttons, the pockets, and even some detailing on the shoulder, which is paying homage to the epaulette. So we've got this great Calvin Klein dress that we can wear, you know, to the right. office. Mm -hmm. Very easy to wear. The tie around, yep. We've also got something as light as this little pair of pants that you can throw on for the summer. Oh wow, those look so airy, especially for the summer too. You want They're something great. light. Yeah, you know, it's instead of jeans, you can toss these out and go ahead to the bar. Mm -hmm. And this is a little easy take on the military. You know, you're getting it through the pleats and kind of the proportions of the volume on top to the tapered leg. Very nice. And lastly, our final trend is of course patterns and that can be a little overwhelming. You mm -hmm. might look too big. How, how can we help with that? So what's great about patterns is that some people have some on their wardrobe where they want to pick up a new skirt and they say, you know, what can I wear with this besides just a typical white or black blouse? Right. You can actually wear patterns together and we're okay. going to show you how to do that. So this is our favorite example, this mm -hmm. multicolored skirt here, again Beautiful. from Tahari. It's got almost every color of the rainbow. So what would you pair with this? What you're going to do here is you're going to pick up one main color. So mm -hmm. in this we're going to focus on orange. Okay. And literally in looking for something to match, we looked for any print in an orange based top and we came up with this Rachel Roy top. Very and as nice. you can see, putting these two together, even though it's you got a tie dye here and an abstract print here, just the orange pulls they do together. Kind of, yeah, they tie in together. Yeah, and right. if anybody even has even a question about it, again, they can revert back to mm -hmm. the, the little skinny belt and just adding that solid base of color to separate the two. Very you know, nice. really makes that distinction. All right, so mixing patterns together, very great. All helpful tips to make us look fabulous this spring. So for more fashion advice, head to foxprovidence.com.